What is going on again this week, y'all? A little bonus episode from the garage. Um, so you might hear some cars passing by and all that stuff. The whole family's home, so I, I feel... I've been on this YouTube here for over 10 years, and I still feel weird <laughs> making videos um, in front of my family. And we will get to rip, and we will try to make this fast. Emerson Boozer. That's a Emerson Boozer rookie card, I believe. Could be wrong. I'm pretty confident 1970 um, was his rookie. Ooh. Nice Ron Guidry. I sent out a couple of cards to him that were not um, rookie cards. Obviously, this is one of them. But I've always loved this card because in the background you can see Yankee Stadium. Old Yankee Stadium. Just super cool. <laughs> Buck Showalter. I think it was about a month or two ago I heard... Uh, baseball collector talking on his channel about not knowing if Buck Showalter um, could potentially be a Hall of Famer in the future. Um, that is a Buck Showalter rookie card, um, to the best of my knowledge. So we will see. If there's one guy that knows his Hall of Famers, it would be baseball collector. Moving. Oh, we'll save that little highlighted beauty for last. Oh, Mark Gastineau, Mark Gastineau, rookie. Um, this one, I don't know what happened. This one, for some reason, was out for a long time, like over a year. Um, and then let's see if you can see it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on here. You really can't. But, man, he put a ton of tape on, or somebody put a ton of tape on the back of that. What we got here? Mr. Brad Park. Looks like he enclosed my donation and inscribed. I think I sent him 20 bucks and asked him not to inscribe. Um, but he inscribed and he threw my $20 bill back in there. So that is kind of bittersweet. Mr. Don Cherry got the inspiration to send this one out from my friend and yours. Oh, I love that card. Mr. Michael Myers. Who I kind of consider him kind of the TTM goat right now in the hobby, the active goat. We got what we got here? Four more. Ooh, see that was a fast one. You didn't see that one coming. Mr. Pat Hinkin. Dude, I remember this guy in the late 90s. Late, late 90s, early 2000s time frame. And man, he was just a gangster. I have a feeling this next one is him as well. Got him in the same day. They came from the same place. Um, so we will see. We'll find out together. Yep, 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 yep. It is. Looks like I got in three refractors, and I believe that's a rookie card. That's probably the face he made when he seen that I sent him two TTMs at the same time. Got a little highlighted special here. Let's see what this little fella is. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> oh man, um, that was definitely highlighted for me. Um, not as in a monster return, but um, what was it? 2024 Panini Racing came out and they had these tiger stripes and zebra stripes. And man, they are not cheap. I was like very, very surprised for how expensive they have been. And there were some guys that I know that signed their fan mail that I wanted to get in. He was one of them. This next one, I already opened it, because um, this is how I get my cards that I send to signings, 
I get them back in the same way I, that this one came back. But this was via the Nolan Ryan Foundation. Got in two returns. I don't know what I was thinking. I've been trying to do the tops player run to include like the record breaker cards and all star cards and all those specialty cards. And so the fact that I would send off not one, but two non tops cards, <laughs> I like shocked myself when I opened these. So that is that. Hope y'all enjoyed the extra video this week. Um, Till next time, adios, be safe, bye-bye, doodles.